Awaken the Giant! Awaken the Giant! Awaken the Giant! Awaken the Giant! We're here today to say enough is enough. Last week, last week, Wisconsin Republicans ran through their attack on workers' rights in a horrible, shocking power grab. Right now, the Congress is supposed to strike a horrible deal on the federal budget, gutting health care, environmental protection, and housing assistance, and destroying jobs. We want to make it clear to any Republican that by supporting this incredible, dangerous budget proposal, he or she is launching assault on the families of California and the American dream. Firing 65,000 teachers, killing 700,000 jobs, and sending 10,000 veterans into homelessness. And that's just the beginning. Republicans don't want folks to know it, but their budget is to cut uh, we we'll cut cuts to uh, critical funding for dozens of the programs and hundreds of millions of jobs rely on it. Every day I take care of patients at Kaiser and I'm running into the problem of patients not having the ability to pay for their medicines. And as an, I'm a nurse practitioner, it's very, very difficult for me to be in the position to broker people's health to watch people suffer, to watch people lose their lives because we are not supporting the everyday person in this country. I'm madder than hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm Everybody! I'm madder than hell and I'm not going to take, take it anymore. anymore! They're cutting back our colleges. How can the inner city kids go on to get better jobs than what the gangs can offer? The gangs can offer better life. What has the state provided to offer the kids of Vallejo as a better life? A subsidy from the government to offshore the jobs. There is an actual subsidy to take our jobs overseas. But anybody that tells you that teachers are getting rich, they're full of shit. money in this country and how they should be, it should be equitably distributed. We've seen a steady amount of money. The rich are getting richer and richer and richer, and yet they say we're the ones wasting class warfare. Huh. That's ridiculous. The American dream. When do we want it? Now. Defend the dream. Defend the dream. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. USA! 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 So hypocrisy is up to here. I'm in daily contact with the members back in Wisconsin. And when I tell, when I send them information about Grassroot actions like what we're seeing today. And sir, you must have missed me by five minutes because I was up in Napa today. Thank you. Ah, so okay, well. good. All right. Uh, you know, for too long, the working men and women have been scapegoated, right? Been the scapegoats for the reason that we're in this economic crisis. And so it's going to take action such as this all across the nation. Uh, grassroots, not just, not just union folks out there, but people that realize that the reason that our county, states, federal government are suffering is because Tax or corporations that do not pay their fair share of taxes. And of course, a lot of the benefit packages that our employees uh, enjoy are tied directly to the stock market. And when we just underwent the biggest fraud ever perpetrated on the American people, right. you can see that they, all of this comes together. So, uh, as I said, I'm in daily contact with the members back in Wisconsin. They are very encouraged to see that. There's actions like this going on, no matter how big, no matter how small, all across the country to illustrate that this is not a political issue, this is not a union issue, it's a class issue. Uh, yeah. so, uh, this is an all-out attack on the American uh, middle class. And so, thank you very much for you, sir. Thank you all for very much. Thank you.
Thank you. 